Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is playing her video games and today we are going to go over the best knives that have ever been on our channel. Now I just want to say that I did try to film um, a video of our Instagram from before we ever started a channel up into today but it just would not let me upload it. I filmed it three different times. The video was just way too long. It had hilarious, hilarious content on it. It was a very good video, but there's nothing I can do. So if you guys want to go through our Instagram, you can. We have a lot of really funny videos, but I really wanted to do this because we just recently hit a video over 23,000 views and another one over 20,000 views and we have to thank the community and everybody who has sent us knives. Now, so I took a bunch of screenshots of the best knives that have ever been on our channel and uh, turned them into a video. So that's what we're going to watch today. Now that doesn't take away from all the other knives that were, are not in this video that everybody has sent us because all the knives that have ever been sent to us have got us here today. And if it wasn't for all of the knives that everybody has sent us to check out, uh, we literally wouldn't be here. Also, thank you to everybody who watches our videos, leaves us comments, the same thing to you guys. We would not be here if, it's, if it wasn't for you guys watching our videos and watching our content. Now, we didn't put any of the knives that we own in this video. These are all knives that other people owned and sent to us. So, let's get to it. So, this is the Freeman knife that was sent to us by Sharp Spot. Um, he was one of the first people to ever send us a knife. Here's another picture of it very awesome knife i love this knife great hard use knife now these are three socoms one was sent to us by scott big boar williams that's the automatic and then the custom and the regular one was sent by acuminous edge the custom here was absolutely amazing it was a Marfion custom you see the blade there oh man this thing was amazing the hollow grind on it was about as thin as you could possibly get it was crazy thin amazing knife and then here's the scales the stingray scales oh, this thing was amazing it did not feel anything like um a, a production model so calm now these are three chavezes that were sent to us by long island knife guy these things were awesome this one in the middle right here you see it had a timascus backspacer it was fully customized it was a production version done by react but then it was um customized and modded um it was really nice getting all three of these in hand for the first time definitely amazing knives i really liked uh these chavez knives next Jeff Jewell sent me the first time we ever had laid hands on a Sabenza. We've only actually held a small one and then this one right here. But this was from Jeff Jewell. He sent this to us for us to check out. Really awesome. Um, I did really like the knife. Now, you see the Riat. That's the K3 sent to us by Stasa23. He sent us a bunch of knives to keep. And then uh, we got to check out his React K3. I did a video on it, versing it. Um, well, not really a versus, but kind of comparing it to the Tucson TS-162. Check that video out. So that's the Tucson TS-162 right there. And uh, I just threw it in the video to show you uh, a picture of it because I don't have it anymore. I did give it away, but it was an amazing, amazing knife and showing the quality of it versus a react was really awesome and i got a couple pictures coming up right now um right here this is the bearings and the racetrack that all two sons have so if you ever wondered and then if you look right there you'll see that's a reverse detent track which a lot more expensive knives don't come with so it kind of shows two sons quality and then this here you see how much milling is done on it and then that top track that's for an internal stop pin 
Okay, so now this was sent to us by Abby. This is the 187 by Medford. I really like this knife. It had uh, 3V blade steel, and I sharpened it up for them. It took a heck of an edge. Beautifully well done hollow ground blade. It's a big knife, big knife for sure, but it was a great knife. I really enjoyed it. Next up here, we have the Mongoose. This knife was amazing. Dama steel blade, titanium uh, scales with titanium liners. This was sent to us by Shaker MT. And you see the clip there that's up. Uh, and uh, I, I forget what's called. I think iced. Uh, I think that's what. Frosted. Frosted clip. Frosted clip. You see the liners there. Man, this thing was beautiful. Really nice uh, hollow ground worn cliff blade. Now here's a whole bunch of knives. The two in the middle. Well, you got the 187, the 187 Medford on top, the Annex, the Marfion Custom Annex, then the Marfion Custom Strider, then the Harukas, uh, Harukas Blomerus Custom Knives, South African knife maker. Then the Mongoose again, and then a Shrogroff. Very amazing, amazing knives. Now, this is that Marfion Custom Annex. We did do a review on all these knives we've shown, we did reviews on. This is an integral knife, outstanding knife. This knife was crazy. Um, the hollow grind on it was insane. Uh, everything about it was insane. Incredible, incredible knife well well built knife um here's the other side of it uh you've seen that it was an integral and then you see the lock face was actually screwed in separately or the lock bar i should say now here is a picture of the marfion custom strider amazing knife the build quality of this knife was insane this was sent to us by Cuminous edge so was the annex actually so both of these were sent to us by by Cuminous edge crazy knife i had a great time with this knife um definitely check out the reviews on all these knives that are on this list now this is that uh that harukas blomerus knife um very unique unique feel the detent on this thing was was definitely unique to anything i've ever uh, flipped before it felt very very unique it's a south african custom knife maker who does these and definitely incredible it had like a bluish purple liners you see it right here that really really stood out everything about this knife was amazing um yeah, it was a beautiful knife for sure. Now, next up, these were sent by Dirk Weirning. Um, these are his Medfords. And, uh, yeah, we had a good time with all these knives. All these knives were great, incredible knives. But there was one specifically that really stood out to me. The, the one I liked the most, which was the Marauder. The Marauder, to me, is an incredible knife. I would love to get my hands on a, um, on a Slim Midi. Even the Praetorian Slim, for that matter. But the Marauder stood out to me the most out of all these knives. I really, really liked it. We're going to see some more pictures here right now. Oh, no, you know what? Actually, we're going to see some of the Praetorian first. Um, man, this thing was sick. <laughs> I mean, you could just see what it looks like. It's, it's incredible. The knife's definitely incredible. Now, here's the Marauder. The Ergo's on this thing. Just everything about it would just seem like my kind of knife, especially for a uh, like an overbuilt kind of knife with the titanium frame lock. Um, yeah, and then you see the um, the little extras down there at the bottom of the scale that had like a uh, I can't even think of the effect that it makes. Like it almost changed colors as you moved it. Um, from purple and pink, it really stood out. Um, yeah, this knife was insane. I I really enjoyed getting to check this knife out. Those are the first Medfords I ever checked out. Now this is the Millet Torrent. This knife also absolutely incredible. This was another one of Shaker MT's knives, and yeah, the flipping action on this knife, just the way it feels. It's not a really big knife, but definitely an outstanding knife. 
incredible knife. I think I sharpened it too. Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, I did. I definitely sharpened it. Sharpened up really nice. The grinds were nice and even. Definitely an incredible knife. Okay, so now this is a hoback. Oh man, that was this this was a big knife, but an awesome knife. Um, I sharpened this one up too. I sharpened a lot of these knives, but yeah, this was a liner lock. It wasn't a frame lock, it was a liner lock, but it was incredible. Now, this one is the custom Groot, the Strider Groot. Wow, 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 wow. This thing was insane. I never held anything like this in my life. It has that copper wash finish on the scales. It's titanium frame lock, but it has like the copper wash on it. I did a review on it. If you want to see more about it, go check out the review. It was insane. I got some more pictures right here. You can get a little bit more of a close-up of the finish of the titanium. It even had that same type of copper wash on the blade also. So very, very cool. And then here's one more picture of it. Um, you see the grind, the nightmare grind, crazy grind. And it's not a hollow and a flat. It's actually two hollows, two hollow grinds on one blade. Now this is the, the snafu, um, the recenti snafu. And I can't believe I only had one picture of this thing. I did a little, I did a video on it. I did sharpen it. I really, really, really like this knife. It was an integral. Man, it was such a good knife. The build quality is insane. This one, man, this thing, we had the opportunity to buy it and we didn't. We're stupid. Um, we even get, were given a, a deal of a lifetime, uh, a deal you couldn't refuse, and we just did not have the funds to do it, even though, you know, it was a deal of a lifetime. But, you know, you know how it goes. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, span the, the blade is uh, called the Spanish tipped razor. So one side is Timascus. The other side's a titanium frame lock. You see the Timascus bolster. Um, incredible knife. Uh, I think it was ladder Damascus, the blade. Really, really cool knife. Now, this is the Jurassic. We just recently did the review on this knife. Um, this knife is, we did sharpen it. it, man, the ergos on this thing were insane. It has the triway pivot and yeah, you can see it looks like a dinosaur. Really good review. I did really enjoy this. This was like the third hinder we ever checked out. It's just the other one. I don't think I did a full review on. I think I just did a sharpening on it. Here's a sharpening job I did on this knife and man, it took a hair whittling edge for sure. Again, thank you to everybody who's ever sent us knives, regardless if it was on this list or not. We thank you guys so much and appreciate all your help and support and love you guys. Peace.